Hey, it's Nathan here, and in this video, I'm excited to show you the Crypto Portfolio Tractor version 2.0. Now, the version 1 has been my most viewed and liked video on this entire channel, so this version 2.0 introduces a bunch of features that people have asked about, so I'm excited to, to give it to you. So anyway, let's just jump right into it. Um, yeah, so this is it. There's a link in the description down below. You can go ahead and grab this Google Sheet. It is free. I'm not charging any money or anything like that. Having said that, I do have a so show some love tab down here. So if you want to show some love, it's down here. You know, just, just putting that out there. But anyway, we're going to go through this sheet real quick and I'll show you how it works and how you can use it to track your crypto purchases and sales and all that type of stuff. So anyway, first things first, what's important here is when you get this sheet, you want to come up to file and you want to go to make a copy. So file, make a copy. Do not try and edit this sheet here that is mine. I'm not gonna give you permission to edit the sheet. You have to make a copy of the sheet on your Google Drive, okay? So file, make a copy, and you can go ahead and name it whatever you wanna name it, put it in whatever folder you wanna put it. I don't care where you put it, just so you don't try and edit my copy of the sheet, okay? So file, make a copy, put it somewhere, and hit okay. And it'll make a copy on your Google Drive, and then you can edit it to your heart's content. So I'm going to go ahead and close my copy out here so I don't mess with it. And we'll go with the copy that I made. And now you'll notice down here in the bottom we have basically two tabs. Yeah, we have three, but, you know, two for all intents and purposes. We have the summary tab, which gives a breakdown of, you know, the overview of your tokens that you have purchased and sold. So we will go over this in just a second here. And then we have the transactions tab. And then this tab, this is where you record when you buy and you sell your tokens. So you'll spend most of your time updating the transactions tab. And basically the information on this tab feeds in to the summary tab here. So you get a nice overview of your portfolio. And I do have some sample data in here already, as you can see. So I'll leave this in here so you kind of see what it is. Uh, but I think the best thing we can do is I can go ahead and show you how to add a token. And if you know how to add a token and do some buys and sales on that token, then you know the rest of it you know makes sense. So first things first, we'll come over here to transactions and let's just go ahead and make a make up a couple transactions real quick. So the first column here is the timestamp and you can put it in any format you want. It doesn't really matter how you want to display it, whatever, you know, makes sense to you. So I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, I'll do 1 Jan 2022. And you can throw the time in there if you want or not, whatever, doesn't make, doesn't matter. Coin, so this would be the symbol of your token or coin that you bought or sold. And then buy or sell, so if you bought it or sold it, you put a B for buy, S for sell, and it's important that you put B or S, don't put like buy or sell, put just B or S, okay? Uh, the number of coins you bought, so let's just say I bought 10, no, 1,000 Cardanos, and let's say I spent, you know, $1,000. Yes, I know the prices are different than than this is this example okay um and then we're going to use copy and paste so we're going to copy these cells right here because these are all formulas so this first one uh calculates the cumulative total of coins you have uh the coin value so you know we spent a thousand dollars bought one thousand well we spent a thousand dollars bought a thousand tokens and now our coin value you know is one so that's how much we spent our rolling average buy value so this is the average amount we spent on buying tokens and it automatically updates as you buy more tokens. Uh, profit and loss is calculated whenever you sell tokens. So we can see that here. Now, disclaimer, I would not use this for tax purposes unless you go ahead and edit the formulas and you know speak to an accountant. This is not tax advice or anything like that. So it's more for entertainment purposes only. Okay, so don't hold me accountable for any taxes or anything like that. Uh, I also have a column for exchange. So that way I know where I bought or sold the token. And then I have a note like maybe why I bought the token on this day or sold it on this day or whatever else. So you can put whatever you want in there uh, to your heart's content. All right, let's do another one to Jan 2022. Some more Cardano's. And we'll do another buy. Let's say I bought another thousand tokens. This time I only spent $800. And then we'll just go ahead and copy and paste the formulas all the way down. So there we go. And then let's say on 4 Jan 2022, I had some Cardano and I sold. I sold 600 and I sold it for $1,200. And I'll go ahead and paste the formulas in again. 
And we can kind of see how the columns or rows update now. Like, so I had a thousand tokens and then I had 2,000 tokens, right? Because a thousand plus a thousand is 2,000. And then I sold 600, which leaves me 1,400. So that's how the cumulative coins column works. It keeps track of your buys and your sells. And then, of course, this coin value is for this particular order. And my average rolling buy value was 90 cents right here. And then we can see my profit and loss right here. And feel free to click into the cell and look at the formulas and see how it all, all works out. But that's really all there is to it on this transaction tab. Now we can come back over to the summary tab here and we're gonna wanna add in our Cardano token. So let's go ahead and add a new row. So we'll right click and do insert row above and we'll throw in the token symbol, so ADA. So it is important that you have the same coin or token symbol right here. So we have ADA and then on transactions, it's gotta be the same, the same symbol like BTC, ETH, MATIC. Like that, that's how it does a connection between the transactions tab and the summary tab is based off of the coin symbol. So it has to be the same symbol where on, on both tabs. All right. So then we don't have to do anything manual here. Um, well, I take that back. We do have to do a little manual thing, but let's just copy and paste the uh, formulas real quick and we'll see what all comes in. So it automatically pulls in all of the coins we purchased, the amount we spent on the coins our average buy value at 90 cents, and then the number of coins we've sold. So we sold that 600, we've earned $1,200, and our average sale value was $2. And after buying and selling, we're left with 1,400 tokens. And the current price is 50, which we know is wrong. Cardano has not hit 50. That'd be awesome if it did, but you know, it has not happened at this point in time. And so we're gonna have to manually update this cell here. Now there's a couple different ways you could do it. You could do it manually, of course. So if I know it's, you know, a dollar fifteen right now, I could go ahead and throw in a dollar fifteen and voila, we've updated the current price. You can also do it automatically. And I have a couple different ways for you to do that. So the reason I have two different ways for you to do that is because sometimes one way doesn't work and you have to try the other way. And hopefully that way works, but if that way doesn't work, then you're gonna have to update the price manually. So that's kind of the, the flow of things. But anyway, I'll go ahead and show you both ways right now. So we can see right here, uh, we have a formula in this particular current price for, for Chainlink here. Uh, we got a formula right there and we can see that it references the 05 cell, which is over here. So basically this method is pulling the price off of coin market cap. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot. So we'll go ahead and copy the formula and I'm gonna go ahead and paste it right there and we get a value error because it's looking at cell 07 and there's nothing in 07 right now. So then what I wanna go ahead and do is go to coin market cap real quick and and we'll just we'll just go to coin market cap and we'll look at Cardano. So here's Cardano. And we'll just copy the link here. And we'll paste that link right there. And we see it went out and it pulled the price of Cardano off of coin market cap. So now we have a price that'll automatically update, you know, as you know, prices change and stuff like that. And you know, that'll be very helpful. And if coin market cap doesn't work, there's another method using coin tracking.info. So we'll go ahead and do that. It's the same concept. So we'll go ahead and grab the formula here. So you notice it's a little bit different of a formula. So we'll copy it and I'll paste it right, right there in the current price. And we see some, some sort of issue. It looks like it's pulling in market cap, I'm assuming. So uh, we got to go ahead and adjust it by grabbing the correct link. So we'll go to the coin, uh, coin tracker.info website and currency is probably a ADA. So we'll go there and we can scroll on down and see if this looks right. So we see the price right there. So it's going to scrape the website for that price. So we're going to come back over here and I'm going to throw that link in here. And we see that it pulled in the current price. So both Cointracker.info and CoinMarketCap.com worked for Cardano, but on some tokens, especially you know smaller altcoins, uh, one website might have it while the other doesn't, and so on. So you might have to play around with it to see what works. And again, if you can't get it to pull in the price automatically, you're gonna have to manually enter the current price whenever you're doing your analysis. So that's kind of kind of how it works but you know the big coins you know bitcoin ethereum matic link and cardano they're all 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 there so it pulls in the current price automatically and then it does the rest of the calculations like current investment 
So currently I've invested, you know, $600 in Cardano because, you know, I, I spent $1,800, but, but then I sold 600 tokens for $1,200. So basically I only have $600 invested in Cardano at this time. The current USD value of my Cardano holdings is $1,626.81. And then profit and loss is $1,026.81. Basically, it's the current holdings minus my current investment equals my profit or my loss. And then I have my percent change right here. So as you can see, I'm doing pretty well with Cardano. I have a notes, notes column right here. And this usually I put where I'm actually holding my token so that way I can keep track of everything because you know I got some in DeFi world and some in hardware wallets and some on mobile wallets and got it all over the place so I just have you know where I'm keeping it but you can record whatever notes you want and then of course we already talked about the links and kind of how that works with the formulas for getting the current prices and finally we probably want to go ahead and check our totals right here because we just added you know some tokens so we want to make sure that we're going through through everything so we want to go through a no c7 and so i'll just go ahead and copy and paste that over here so we got the all all, all of our information uh, across the board and so that's how you go ahead and add a token and add transactions and all that type of stuff of course on yours you'll probably want to clear all these examples out and your summary tab so that way you know it's the tokens that you actually hold so that's how you do it and a lot of it's just copying pasting the formulas from you know the cells up above I also want to point out one thing. I have this stock example in here. And the reason I put that in here is because I use this to help me with the average cost basis calculation. So that's that's what I'm doing here. Uh, I just basically broke down all of the, the example, this chart right here, I put into this chart right here and put all the values in here. And we can see that it indicates a gain of 107 and 10 cents which we see right here, 107.11. So I'm off one cent, but I just wanted to use that as an example of how I came up with these, these rolling average buy and the cost basis and the profit and loss. I'm using this, this article right here. It's the best one that I could find with an example. And so that's why I have it. I'll include a link to it in the description down below. So you could go ahead and, you know, check it out. If you're curious of how this profit and loss is calculated, basically it's based off of this concept right here. And that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. Again, if you want to show some love, I got that tab down here. Otherwise, I hope you have a great rest of the day.